Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on JavaScript. Now in the earlier video we have talked about functions, right? So we have seen how do you define a function, how do you call a function. Now went with a very simple example where we created a function called as great and then in that we were printing hello world, right? But then we can call a function multiple times, right? And we have done that. We are calling that function four times here. So if you want to see the output, this is what you got, right? You were able to run this and we were getting four outputs, right? In fact, five, we also got one here because we are printing it. But at this point, I just don't want to go for multiple calling. I just want to go for one. In this video, let's try to understand how do you pass values to a function and how a function returns a value. Okay, so what I mean by that is, let's say when I call this greet, I don't want it to do something. I don't want it to print something. I want it to return me the text. Example, let's say I have a string here. Let's say a string and this string need to have, let's say, hello world. Okay, of course you can type hello world here, but don't you think we can use this hello world? Uh, so what we can do is we can say, hey, great, do your work, but also give me the text. Okay, so I want to return this hello world to this str. So we can call a function, which will return you the value. Now, when you want to return the value, you don't want to write console.log because you don't want to print it. You want to return it. How do you return it? It's very simple. You just have to use a simple keyword called as return. So when you execute this function greet now, it will return the statement or it will return the string called hello world. So this will return hello world and it will be assigned to str. So that's how you return the value, right? Okay, so can we have multiple return statement? Actually not, because see, the moment you have multiple return statement here, so if I return hello, so if you go with the flow of execution, it will simply return the first hello. It will not even go for the second one, right? And that's why you can see it will also give you some, yeah, so it says it is unreachable code. Because the moment you execute the function and the moment it sees this line, it will directly jump out of the function. Okay, that's how written works, right? So make sure that you write only one return statement. Yes, if you can also have if else, in that you can mention multiple returns. I mean, uh, one return in if condition, one return in, in else condition, that should work. Okay, but then will it work? Let's try. If you want to see the output, we have to also print str, right? That's how we'll know that something is happening. So let's, after saving that, let me create this screen and let's run this code and let's see what happens. And you can see we got hello world. So whatever data is getting returned here will be assigned to str and we are printing it. Example, if I put some exclamation there, uh, now it will be updated with the exclamations, right? Cool. So that's how you can return a value. How about passing a value? So let's say instead of printing world here, I want to say hello Naveen or hello whatever value you pass. Uh, example, let's say here we have user and the data for the user is let's say Naveen. So when you have a user called Naveen and I don't want to create as hello world, I want to say hello Naveen. So this will change based on what user you have. So if the user is Naveen, it will print Naveen. If the user is, uh, let's say Chirag, it will be hello Chirag. How will you modify it? So basically you have to pass this user here, right? Uh, so how do you pass? It's very simple. In the function itself, in the round packets, you say user. This is that simple, right? So basically you are calling a function by passing a value, which is a user here. Now, since you're passing, you have to also accept it, right? So here you have to accept the value. Now, will you do it? It's very simple, you say user. So you are passing a user and you are accepting a user, cool. And now you can simply remove this part and you can write user, as simple as that, right? Let's run this code. And now I'm expecting it will print hello Naveen. Wow, we got hello user. You know why? Uh, we have talked about it before, right? We are putting this user in double quotes. Uh, not a good idea. So we can use a template literal here. We can put a backtick and let's put this in dollar curly bracket. So it will be getting resolved to the value of the user, which is in this case is Naveen. And we got it. So you can see we got hello Naveen. So that's how you can pass a value and that's how you can return a value. So using return statement, you can return a value or you can pass a value. It's not that you can only pass one value. You can pass multiple values. What if you want to pass two values? You can give a comma and you can pass another value or you can pass 10 values, 100 values. Depends upon the requirement, how much you want to pass. So I hope that makes sense. In this uh, video, we have talked about how a function returns a value and how a function accepts a value. Uh, there's one more thing. You can actually write multiple statements here. It's not that a function will have only one statement. We are doing that from the last two videos, in fact, this one and last one, but you can have multiple statements here. Maybe you want to print something, maybe you want to calculate something, maybe you want to store data in data in database, maybe you want to send a request to the server, whatever you want, okay? And we will do that in the upcoming videos, don't worry. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye-bye.